Alright, welcome back. So, last time, if you remember, we set up this little procedural house start. Um, we added windows in last time, so basically we just got a bunch of parameters to change a few of the, you know, values and window frequencies and that kind of thing. So now, this time, we're going to look at copying actual windows to where we want our windows to go. But first, we're going to organize this stuff a little better, just do some little housekeeping kind of things. First, we've got these, and we want this to just be points to copy to. Window points. And then, we got here, we've got a wall, and then here we've got another wall. So we're just going to drag these guys over here. This will just make it life easier later on when you need to come back and adjust any of this. It's just good practice to organize your stuff. And then we'll call this walls. And we can probably put the merge in there too. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that helps a bit. So we'll move our walls and our points around. Okay. Awesome. So our output right now is this Boolean, which is good. That's fine. So what we want to do is we want to copy windows to these points, right? These points are the points we set up to copy our um, house or our, copy our windows to. So what we're going to do is just take these points right here. We're copying a box to here so we can bool it out. What we want to do, it's going to be really similar. All we do is put down a copy stamp and put it into here. And then we're just going to make a quick house, so we'll, or a quick window, sorry. We'll just make a box. We'll make this like 0.3 and 0.2. And then we'll transform it. And we'll make the scale here like 0.8, not that one, the other two, 0.8 and 0.8. And then we'll just bool our window out. So we do subtract, whoops. So now we got a little bit of a window frame. Space shift F to refocus if uh, you think it's weird. So now we've got a window frame and we'll just make a quick, um, we'll just copy this box actually. This box actually. So the reason we're copying this one is because it's already the exact size of the inside of the frame. And so if we make the scale here, like 0.1, we can get some nice glass that's the exact size it needs to be, which is right, what we want. And then we'll just merge these two together, and we've got ourselves a really simple looking window. And if you want to change the, you know, the thickness of it, you can put down a, a transform here and just change the thickness there. Anyway, then we'll just drop this into this copy node. And look at that, everything's going the wrong direction. That's okay, easy to fix. Just put transform down there and rotate it 90 degrees. Ta da! Okay, now we'll make a merge node and just merge ugh, these two together. And now we've got windows. So, one thing to pay attention to is this box here and this window here happen to be the same size because we started with the one one cube right so if you want your windows bigger or smaller let's just we'll set up something here called uh let's set up a float for windows and do window size and we'll just do a range from zero to three probably is big enough but we'll leave it unlocked just in case we'll start it at one just so that nothing weird happens quickly. Okay, now we're just going to put down a transform here. and But we don't want to transform the uniform scale because if it's too thin, um, if, our, if we scale it down this way too far, that's rotate. If we scale it, oh, this one's different. Wow, this one. If we scale it too thin, it's not going to blow out the entire window, which is bad. So what we're going to do is just paste it into these two. Oops. Yeah, I deleted the print scene. Okay. So now, this one, 
our window size scales up or down, which is good. Then we're just going to copy this node. And so this one, just rotate. We can actually put it there. Never mind. We will just, we want to scale it not this way, but the other two ways. Let's paste relative references and paste relative references. Awesome. So now if we go to here, we should be able to scale our windows up or down. Yeah. And that works just like uh, you might expect to. Awesome. And you could easily set this up and do the same thing. Just do like vertical height or like window height versus window width and just copy the two to, um, you know, the different ones that they're supposed to go to. Um, so I'm just going to group these up and call this window object. And what you can do also is if you have a uh, window that you've made, like in Maya or 3ds or something, you can just import the geometry and then all you'll need to do is just transform it so that it's pretty close to the same size as this booling, as this uh, booling out box, if that makes sense. So that's how you can put custom windows in. Okay, cool. I'm going to label these two as bool windows. And bring it down here. Okay, let's put this guy in there too. Awesome. So now we've got a bit more uh, sense made, a bit more organization. Okay, really cool. So something that we notice now is that you can only have one row or two rows of windows. Because if we make them smaller or bigger, it starts to overlap. And you can, if you can get away with it, you can kind of get them exactly right. If you do 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, I think is probably what you want. Nope. Yeah. So that doesn't. That's not exactly what we want to do. We want to remove it if there are, you know, if it's one one floor, if it's a one floor house. So the way we're going to do this is pretty simple. We're just going to add a toggle and call this the one floor toggle. And accept that. Yep. OK. Um, we might use this for somewhere else, though. So I'm going to actually bring it out to the base level. OK. So what we're going to do, since we set this all up nice, remember, we've got this one, which is our you know, vertical, the higher it gets, the more points there are, the longer it gets, the more points there are, right? So what we can do is just group by range. And what we want to do is change this to points, and we want to just do the start. So all we need to do now is just blast this out, and we'll take our group. So now we've only got that point, which is what we want. So then we'll just put a switch down and copy this parameter and paste it into the switch and go like this. Boom and boom. And so now if we go here and we toggle on one floor, it's going backwards. That's fine, easy to fix. You just go here and tick that. So now one floor is on, and we've only got one floor of windows. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so now we come down here just to verify that everything is working properly, turning off points, because it's annoying. So we've got one floor, awesome. And our bottom buffer, oh, I remember I named these wrong. Let's uh, just fix that real quick. Top buffer and bottom buffer. Okay. So now they're the right. Should be the right. So the top buffer is not changing at all. That's fine. Bottom buffer, you can change the height of the windows. And, you know, a house that's that high probably is going to have this is going to be a house with one floor is probably only going to be this tall. 
All right, so there's a quick tutorial on how to actually put windows in and to make it one floor if you want. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you learned something.